When 60 Minutes last visited Boston Dynamics in 2021, Atlas was a bulky hydraulic robot that could run and jump. Back then, Atlas relied on algorithms written by engineers. When we dropped in again this past fall, we saw a new generation Atlas with a sleek all-electric body and an AI brain powered by NVIDIA's advanced microchips, making Atlas smart enough to pull off hard-to-believe feats autonomously. We saw Atlas skip and run with ease. Do you ever stop thinking, gee whiz? I remain extremely excited about where we are in the history of robotics, but we see that there's so much more that we can do as well. Scott Kindersma is head of robotics research, a job he proudly wears on his sleeve. You even have on a robot shirt. Well, once I saw that this shirt existed, there was no way I wasn't buying it. <laughs> he told us robots today have learned to master moves that until recently were considered a step too far for a machine. And a lot of this has to do with how we're going about programming these robots now, where it's more about teaching and demonstrations and machine learning than manual programming. So this humanoid, this mechanical human, can actually learn. Yes, and, and we found that that's actually one of the most effective way to program robots like that. Atlas learns in different ways. In supervised learning, machine learning scientist Kevin Bergerman, wearing a virtual reality headset, takes direct control of the humanoid, guiding its hands and arms move by move through each task until Atlas gets it. And if that teleoperator can perform the task that we want the robot to do and do it multiple times, and that generates data that we can use to train the robot's AI models to then later do that task autonomously. 